So iPadOS 16 developer beta 1 has been out for about six days now and I kind of want to talk about one application that got a lot of updates for iPadOS 16 and it made it more of a pro level or at least more familiar in terms of how we use it and that's got to be the new files application for iPadOS 16. So without further ado let's talk about all the changes from beginning to end from big ones to small ones and this will be the last video you need to see about the files app. Without further ado let's talk about it. So before we actually get started everybody, I wanted to mention I tried to record this by screen recording the actual iPad screen and it kept crashing on me. Just another explanation or another way that iPadOS 16 shows us that it's in beta 1. It can't really do that right now. Leave some comments down below if you guys are having some issues like that. So now we're going to do the top down view and walk through iPadOS 16, the actual files application. So the first thing I want to show you is how it opens in stage manager mode versus how it opens in non-stage manager. So if we move this down, you can see in control center that stage manager is not turned on. So if you open up the files application, it opens up normally, it's something that we're used to, something that's very familiar. And if I want to open up another one in the old multitasking way, I'll just grab the files, move it over. We have that side by side and then I can even have a third window. So if I open up the files application, again, very familiar. Everybody knows how this works. We even have the app shelf down here that came in iPadOS 15. So now if we stay in this view, go down and click on stage manager, you can see that everything does kind of change. So we still have the two side by side windows open, but we can't really see where that other window is. So if we move it out of the way, and try to find that third window, you have to go into multitasking mode to find it and you can see that it crashes. So right now, things like that where you're trying to really stress test the system isn't gonna work too well. But if we continue on, I went back to the home page, and when it does crash, it only crashes for a split second and then it kind of revamps itself. But if we go down here, you can see stage manager is turned on and then we open up the files app, you can see that it does open in that stage manager view with no real issues whatsoever. It's only when you really start to stress test it that it does start to break down. But if I want to open up another files application, more than happy to do so, resize them side by side. If I want to grab my mouse over here, and it works as advertised with Stage Manager view. And for those of you who don't know, there is a setting in Stage Manager if you long press on here to actually remove the side and the dock. So I actually have just a dock removed. You can see that it showed up again right here. Just to get a little extra space, I like to click that off and make sure that I'm good to go because I can still pull it up just with my finger or with a mouse whenever I want to. So to really show off all the features, I'm gonna go full screen with just one of them. So let's open this one up all the way and you can see that it does take over everything. And again, I'm still in Stage Manager view. So as you can see, I'm on my iPad. These are all the files inside of my iPad. You know, very, very simple. I don't have too many things, mostly just a lot of folders. The first thing that I'm showing off here is a new list mode. So normally the way that I have it is in the icon view, which is very similar to how I run it inside of my Mac OS computer. You can see that this is icon view. And if I click right here, you can go to list view and we do have a whole new view. So we have the name of the actual file, the date that it was created, and then the size of the file, which is something that wasn't there before. And just like Finder, you can actually sort based on name. So the same way you would, you just click on there and everything moves just like it would in ABC order. You can filter it by date over here, the same way you would in Finder. And then same thing with size, right? You can filter it based on size right then and there. And if there are folders and files in the same view, it's gonna sort the actual files first and then the folders based on how many items are inside of that folder, not based on how big it is. The next thing I wanna show off is a new hamburger menu. So again, we clicked on here to actually access the icon list and column view. Just to show you guys what the column view looks like, this is what you're dealing with. Again, very similar to Mac OS Finder. So if I go into, let's say something like LumaFusion and you have multiple folders in here, you can go through that whole hierarchy of folders and keep going and going all the way down to that item or file that you want. But to go back to my list view, I did want to show you guys exactly all the different things that we can now organize ourselves with inside of this new hamburger menu. So right now, like I said, we have the ability to sort based on date and size and name, which is all right here. So you can do name. These are just the same thing that I showed you before, but now inside of this hamburger menu, we, we also have the ability to sort by kind. So if you have different file types or file kinds, again, I have files and folders on here. You can actually sort based on that, which I actually love to see. So being able to sort based on the file type is awesome date, size, you can also filter based on tags if you have tags on these files, which is great to see. And then you have this new drop down menu right here called the view options, which means you can actually show all extensions. So without showing extensions, you can see like these right here, they had a dot PDF at the end. If I want to go back in here, go to view options, go to show all extensions. Now I know exactly what file type they are, even though it does show me the kind that they are right here on the right hand side. 
but now in the actual name of the file, I can see what's going on. So this is actually a perfect segue into being able to change file types because we can actually see the extension now. So if I go into one of these right here and long press it, I can actually rename it, go to where it says PDF and maybe change it to a JPEG. So do JPG, press done, but then you also get that same prompt that Apple is always giving you inside of Finder. So change file extension from PDF to JPG. Say that five times really fast. JPG, JPG, Ooh, that's a tough one. But you can see that we can actually change it. You get the same prompt like, are you sure you wanna do it? Obviously I'm not gonna do it. I wanna keep it as PDF because that's a weird transition. But you can see that now we can change file types by purely changing the extension of that file inside of the Finders app or the Files app, whatever you guys wanna call it. So now let's talk about folders. Folders are now way easier to view, way easier to interact with. So for instance, I've always wanted to know how big my LumaFusion folder is because it takes up a lot of space on my iPad and I can never really get it organized to the point where I have an efficient like storage usage with LumaFusion. But now I can literally right click just as I would on a computer, get info and voila, you can see that it's taking up 10 gigs on my disk right then and there. So like finally, finally we can see the actual folder and see how much space that folder is taking up even though it has a million files inside of that folder. Before we could only actually see how much each file was in terms of size and the folders, it would just tell you how many items were in there. But thank goodness, we now have the ability to do that. And now what I wanna talk about is all the folder settings that we have. So if I long press on the thumbnail, you can say, like I showed you before, you can get info, you can rename it, you can compress it. You can also duplicate it. You have this new folder with item, which is a new feature, which means you can actually create a new folder with this folder inside of it already, which is great to see. You have the copy, move. You also have the share button, which is nice to have. And then finally, you can open it in a new window, which is awesome. Something else that was new is that once you go inside of a folder, so you can see that we're in the thumbnail edits folder, we'll click in, into it again. And also you don't have to double click, you just single click to get in there. But this is a new little drop down menu to give you the, an idea of what it looks like. So you can see that you're on the iPad. So it kind of gives you like the file address, which is great. You can rename it, copy it, move it, get info again. And you can also share it directly from here to anybody that you wanna share it with via iMessage, AirDrop, inside of the notes, whatever the case may be. Some other things that came over from a more traditional sense of a file manager are two things. One of them I'm gonna show you, the other one I'm just gonna tell you because I can't show you right now. But the first one is being able to select multiple files at the same time without having to use a select button. So this is new, being able to just drag and select as many as you want and then move them to wherever you want. That wasn't available in iPadOS 15. Before you had to press a select button and either one by one click on them or click and then drag through to select as many as you wanted. But again, that got tedious, that was annoying, that was another step that nobody wanted to do. So now you can just click, drag through, just like you would on any other Mac OS or even Windows computer. The same thing applies with your keyboard shortcut. So you can click on the shift key to select as many files as you want at the same time, and then again, move them to wherever you need to. So the last thing I wanna show everybody is how to actually move files from one side to the other, and to show you guys the UI. Because in iPadOS 14, there was no real way to see exactly how long it's gonna to take to file transfer, whether it took one second or took a day. You had no idea, you just had to sit there and wait. iPadOS 15 got a little bit better, and iPadOS 16, I think we're finally there. So let's say I wanna grab this folder right here, and I wanna move it over here. You can see that there's a little click wheel that shows up right here. You click on that, and then it tells you that it's copying over the hospital photos, and it's preparing to copy, and it should give you an idea of how long that's gonna take. Right now it's taking a little while because I'm moving it from iCloud over to my iPad. I'm probably gonna cancel it because it's a very big folder, but now you can see that this is the UI that we're dealing with. And if I press this little edit button, let's see what happens. You can actually stop it if you want, which I will, and then you'll be done. So that is how you actually move files and folders from one side to the other, whether it's an external hard drive, whether it's between different files over here, which is great to see. So the Files app did get a little bit more fluid, it got a little bit more friendly, and it got more familiar in re regards to being compared to Mac OS and Windows Explorer and things like that. But overall, I'm liking where the files is going in terms of the direction that it's going. But let's finish up this video and get out of this view. So that's pretty much gonna do for this video, everybody. Like you guys saw, the Files application is finally turning into an application that's pretty much usable at this point, right? For so long, the Files application has been the biggest detriment to iPadOS and even iOS. Yes, it was finally a file system that we kind of rely on, but it was so janky, it was very hard to organize, it was hard to really use inside of your workflow. Like, I never ever use the Files application, and that's probably gonna change now that it's a little bit more robust. So my favorite feature, and I can't believe I'm calling this a feature because Windows and Mac OS have had this since the beginning of time, was being able to see how big a file size of a folder was. Could you believe that prior to iPadOS 16, we couldn't actually know how big a file was as a folder? Yes, we could actually find out the file size of each individual file, 
but a folder itself, we couldn't see how much storage that folder was taking up, which was absolutely absurd. So I'm glad that they actually brought that over. And then they actually brought over a couple of other things like being able to organize via how big the folder was or the type of file that it is. So overall, it's a very welcome update. It took Apple forever to give us this, but now we're getting closer and closer to the files application kind of mimicking what Finder is on Mac OS. And again, it's, we're starting to blur those lines between what's Mac OS, what's iPad OS, what's better, you know, which one should I get? So those are all things we're gonna be covering on the channel, so definitely stay tuned. And again, with Stage Manager having the floating windows and things like that, even though it is a welcome update, overall, I don't know if it's gonna be the perfect thing that people want, and I'm working on a video talking about exactly why that is. Overall, I do love it, and from a demo standpoint, it is great, but let's see how well Stage Manager works from a productivity standpoint. So leave some comments down below of what you guys wanna see overall with iPadOS 16. We're gonna keep these videos coming and explaining each one of these new features one by one as they do come through. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so that I know you made it to the very end. And leave a comment down below what your favorite update so far of iPadOS 16 has been. Is it Stage Manager? Is it the Files app? Is it the pro level apps? Again, quote unquote, because it's not really pro quite yet, but let me know in the comments below. And if you guys wanna watch some more iPadOS 16 stuff, click on one of these videos right here. But until next time, I'm outta here.